All right, everybody, this is Ross. So in tonight's video, I just wanted to do a quick announcement for you guys. Uh, the announcements that we have some fig trees for sale, right? I know a lot of you guys love to message me throughout the season. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. Uh, Ross, Ross, do you have any fig trees for sale? Do you have any cuttings for sale? Will you ship to X location? Uh, well, here we go, guys. They're, they're available. So if you're interested, they're on figbid.com. Um, the link is down in the description of the video. You guys can go and check out our Figbid uh, storefront that we have there, which will take you essentially to this page right here where you can see all the listings we have of different varieties. You can click on each one and get details on each variety, see the photos, uh, get an idea of what it is that you are going to be receiving, um, and then also some handling instructions and and just different pieces of information that's uh, that's pretty important. So here's some of the trees actually we did last year. And they really are such, it's such an amazing thing, I think, to be able to spread this hobby to you guys because I know that in a sense, this is, some of these trees might be a little expensive. Uh, some of these trees, uh, of course, you're paying something for these trees, you know, in a sense, you guys are supporting me, but I do really think that these trees are, are like a steal, guys. These are as good as it gets. And I've already noticed that because they're flying off the shelves. Like I put up about 35 listings today and about 13 of them have already sold. And I didn't even make this video for the channel. You know, what is it? Like 27,000 subscribers now. I didn't even make this video for 20, 27,000 or it's probably not even going to be 27,000. But let's say there's 500 people of you guys who watch this video. You know, those are 500 people that didn't didn't even know potentially that we even had them for sale, yet I've already sold 13 of them. So it's kind of insane, in all honesty, I think how quickly these things are going to go off. You know, I'm going to run out of these really quickly, I think. But, you know, I do think that this is, a, like I said, I think it's a steal. And I think, honestly, I'm doing a lot of good for you guys in, in the sense that these are trees that you guys are really going to want because you're getting such uh, such a bargain in return. Um, you know, these are trees, like, if you just look at some of these photos, I mean, they have such established, mature root systems. You know, these are um, trees that will definitely fruit for you the following season. So you're going to get a pretty good quantity of fruit, and you're going to get the fruit at a really high quality because the, the younger trees that you guys might be able to receive buy or even root yourselves they just don't get the fruit quality that you're looking for right away um, it just takes them a while for them to get a large enough root system to then adapt to um, you know really those soil conditions if you have a really wet soil um, and it's a young tree it's gonna really take up a ton of water and it's gonna ruin the quality of those fruits Whereas these, they have a really established root system as is. So you're going to get high quality fruits right away. You're not going to have to wait two, three, even sometimes five years for the tree to really put out a high quality piece of fruit. So I think, honestly, I think it's a steal. I think this is a huge bargain. I'm doing something for you. You guys are doing something for me. And not only that, but you got to kind of also take into account just the immense amount of work that's gone into this. And I don't, I don't want to really harp on this point too much, but, you know, it, it is like really nobody else is doing this, first off. You know, I, I'm the only grower, as far as I know, that's really bare rooting a lot of trees in excess and then selling them to people and offering them up. You know, I could have very easily, I guess, given them away, given them away to friends, to family, to neighbors, to someone local. Um, I could have sent them to the compost pile, you know. So I think personally that I'm giving you guys the joy of growing figs and hopefully this is going to encourage more people to be part of this hobby. You know, that's that's kind of the whole goal of this beyond just getting paid, right? Um, you know, and also guys, like I said, there there is a lot that goes into this and I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to harp on it too much, but it took me the, a whole day, literally the whole day to create these listings here on Figbid. And then yesterday I spent the whole day organizing the fig trees in the patio and moving them around so I could streamline this process with the bare rooting. 
but also figuring out what trees I wanted to bear root, which trees I wanted to sell, you know, getting my plans and everything in order. I still have to, uh, I haven't even received the boxes just yet that I'm going to ship these in because these are special boxes that I have to ship them in because these are such large trees. They're like an eight by eight by 36 inch box. Um, I had to get some labels. I had to get all kinds of things kind of ready for this whole thing to then make this happen over the next couple of weeks. Um, and I would also like to point out that I didn't even do the bare rooting process yet. There's going to be like 50 or so trees that I'm going to be bare rooting. That's, that's insane. That's a ton of work. And I remember last year I did maybe um, 20 or so or 25 bare rooted trees. So maybe let's just say half the amount that I'm going to do this year. And that was like backbreaking work. That was like three solid days of just, non-stop bare rooting these trees getting them situated i mean it was it's a ton of work so the, what i'm even doing this year because it's so much work is that i've decided to even potentially hire somebody um i've decided that i was good i even asked a couple people on facebook and instagram luckily two people have responded to see if hopefully i could get some uh, assistance so it's kind of um like I said, I think it, the whole thing is just kind of insane. It's it's obviously the reward is there. It's good for you guys. It's good for me. So I'm not complaining or anything. But, you know, I just want to have a little bit of leeway here with you guys because I'm sort of bare rooting these trees to order. You know, that's something I'm mess, I'm saying here in the, uh, in the description here. So, you know, just be a little patient if you've already ordered some trees or you're going to order some trees. Um, I personally um, am probably going to ship out some trees this coming Monday on the 2nd. But the majority of them will probably have to wait until the 9th. And then we'll probably finish this whole thing off on the 16th. So um, it's going to be really quick. And it's going to be a lot of work over these last these next couple weeks. But, you know, it is what it is. That's all I'm saying is just give me, give me a little bit of, uh, of leeway here, guys. Um, so just a couple little points here really quickly about this is that, um, let me see here if there was something that I wanted to mention. So the nice thing guys about these trees is that they are bare rooted and because the post office this year, the United States postal service has been really slow because of coronavirus. I haven't really been able to sell too many trees in the spring in the summer they just were taking too long to arrive to the destination. And therefore I've sort of waited to then sell these bare rooted trees, but also to sell cuttings. So, um, you know, it's sort of nice because these things, the cuttings and the bare rooted trees, they can survive and they'll be just fine in shipment for a much longer period of time than an actively growing tree. So these guys are going to be dormant. They're going to have the perfect conditions that they're going to be able to, survive in the in the post office if there is indeed a delay of some kind um, I think the post office has been a little bit better over the last month or so so that's obviously a good sign but you know this is something I think that's sort of just like perfect for what's going on in the world and um, yeah I, I would also recommend even though I think they really can I, I did test this last year to see just how long these bare rooted trees would survive. It does depend on the, the caliper size and how big the tree is and how many roots it has. But if you're, you're storing the tree well, um, I had them in my underneath my sunroom, which is kind of like a root cellar. I had them there for like six months and uh, some of them were fine. So they can really withstand cooler conditions if you have a, a nice room, a nice environment for them. Probably a colder environment with more humidity you don't have to necessarily do the up potting or the planting immediately if you have something like that. But I would strongly suggest that you guys do that right away. You know, put the tree in the ground, put it into a pot, um, water it in pretty well. And then next year you guys can feed it and then let it grow some scaffolds that will hopefully become permanent on your, your tree. Um, that's really the key here is if you limit the number of scaffolds, the number of new shoots next year, you're going to be guaranteed some fruit. 
and you're also going to have hopefully them well placed symmetrical and you're going to have a nice permanent form going forward um and that's sort of it here guys i think um they really are a steal so i want to thank you guys for supporting me sticking with me here watching this video one last thing i know someone's going to ask the cuttings are going to be available um probably sometime at the very earliest, I'll have a few cuttings available in like mid-November. Um, most will be available around Thanksgiving, but the majority are going to be available probably at the beginning of December. Once again, available on Figbit. So if you're interested, all you have to do is go to this website, the link down in the description, and you can see anything I have currently listed. Whatever I have listed is what is available for sale. There's no reason to message me. Um, individually and ask if I'm selling anything so uh, anyway guys thank you so much again we'll see everybody soon and uh, hope you guys are having a good night take care